Hey good morning everyone my name is Vipin Kumar and I am back with another video on Cloud Foundry in this video we are going to discuss on Cloud Foundry what is the Cloud Foundry what is the components of the Cloud Foundry and how Cloud Foundry works so let's begin so what is Cloud Foundry basically Cloud Foundry is a open source project with many contributor Cloud Foundry makes it faster and easier to build, test, deploy and scale application. It is providing you a choice of the cloud on which you can deploy the Cloud Foundry developer framework. You can deploy your application on any framework no matter it is a Java based application or .NET based application and it also provide a service application. Let's look at this diagram to get more clarity on Cloud Foundry. This is the traditional IT. You manage everything from networking to application. Then traditional IT transformed into IaaS. Infrastructure has a service like public or private cloud. In this model, you are managing middleware like IIS, JBoss, Apache Tomcat then runtime like .NET or Java then you are managing your application binaries and datas and your cloud provider like AWS, Azure or OpenStack are responsible to managing layer from networking to OS then one step further platform in this model from networking to runtime layer are managing by your cloud foundry provider you just need to manage your application and application data below this layer everything is managing by your cloud foundry provider you don't really require to know what is the hardware and software are hosted below the data layer you just need to focus on your application development enhancement performance and and leave the hosting part to your cloud foundry provider now let's look at the cloud foundry components and these are cloud foundry components from incoming traffic to publishing your application so first components is router basically router routes the incoming traffic to the appropriate components either cloud controller or any application that is currently hosted on diago cell the router periodically queries the diago bulletin board to determine which cell or container are hosting your application cloud foundry use go router or tcp router for routing your traffic now second components is authentication when a traffic or user enter in cloud foundry it needs to be authenticated cloud foundry use qaa as a centralized identity management service for cloud foundry to managing authentication and authorization it includes developers client space organization etc next one is application lifecycle and it has four components first one is cloud controller when you push or deploy an application to cloud foundry you require to target the cloud controller then cloud controller accept your request and direct your request to Tiago brain via cloud controller bridge to coordinate individual Tiago cell to stage and run your application the cloud controller also maintain record of organization space user role services and more now let's discuss on Diago brain components basically Diago brains components distribute task and long running process to Diago cell and direct any discrepancy between actual long running process and desired long running process count to ensure full tolerance and long term consistency the nsync pbs and cell wraps components work together to keep application running how these components work together let's see nsync receive a message from the cloud controller when the user scale up the application then it writes the number of the instance required in the Diago database. For example, user scale up the application from 3 to 5, then NSync write the value 5 in the desired column of DB database. Then PBS use this information to monitor actual and desired LRPS. L wraps monitor the containers and provide actual LRPS value. 
नेक्स्ट वन इज एप्लीकेशन स्टोरेज एंड एग्जीक्यूशन ब्लॉब स्टोर इज ए रेपोजिटरी लाइक डोकर हब दी ब्लॉब स्टोर कैन हैव एप्लीकेशन कोड पैकेज ड्रॉपलेट्स एंड बिल्ड पैक्स एप्लीकेशन कोड पैकेज is a full content of the application directories including source code and resource file second one is build pack build pack typically examine your application to determine what dependency to download and how to configure the application when you push or deploy an application cloud foundry automatically detect an appropriate build pack for it this build pack is used to compile and prepare your application to launch these are system build packs like go language java .net core nginx node js php python ruby etc you can create your custom build packs next one is droplets to run application on cloud foundry we need to include dependencies and runtime framework like .net or java with application code then these are packaged together into a package file called a build pack like var file tar file r file or msi file on windows you can configure or host blob store on internal or external location like as the next components is diago cell application instance application task and staging task all run has garden container on diago cell vms when you deploy any application on cloud foundry your application is going to be hosted on separate containers and isolated from other containers next one is service brokers in service application typically depends on services such as database or third party software has a service when a developer provisions and find a service with an application then service broker for that service is responsible for providing the service instance for example you added a ms sql service in your application then service provider of the ms sql is responsible to provide ms sql database for your application next one is messaging cloud foundry components vms communicate with each other internally through http or https protocol sharing temporary message and data store in diago latin boot services host director insert a host dns server on each vms all vms keep up to date dns record for all other vms for the communication next and final one matrix and login it enables and direct system and application log to developers so far we have discussed what is the cloud foundry and what are cloud foundry components now let's discuss how the cloud foundry stage and run your application with help of this diagram in step number one the developer will select directory of the source code and deploy or push application on cloud foundry by using cloud foundry cli interface in step number two cf command line tells cloud controller to create a record of the application then in step number three cloud controller store application metadata on cloud foundry database application metadata can include application name number of the instance build pack and other application related information in step number four uploading all the application source file before this process cloud foundry check if the application files already exist in the resource cache if files already existed on the resource cache then cli will upload only those files that is not available in the resource cache in step number 5 cloud controller store application package on blob store in step number 6 cf command line send a application start command to the cloud controller then in step number 7 the cloud controller do a staging request to diago then diago schedule a diago cell to run a task the task download the build packs in step number 8 the diago cell generated and forward the output of the staging process so that developer can troubleshoot application staging problem in step number 9 the diago cell task compiled and stage application into a tarball called a droplets and this is the same task that is generated in step number seven then 
Diego cell store the droplets into the blob store. In step number 10, the Diego bulletin port system reports to the cloud controller that staging is completed. In step number 11, the Diago start a application on one or more Diago cell. In step number 12, the Diago cell report the status of the application to the cloud controller. So that is a complete process. How does the Cloud Foundry stage and run your application on Cloud Foundry? I hope by now you get a better idea on the Cloud Foundry. That's all. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.